uh, who's talking a little bit about concerns here locally, and, and that is the high tide, right? Yeah, these tides, you know, right, so last night we mentioned that we're going to see those high tides through Milton, and they're not going to go completely down, and as they come back up again, they're going to have a little bit of higher base. What we're seeing right now in the area red here has taken us to moderate levels. That means we've seen as much as two feet, and you can see here where we bottomed out well above where we would normally see the low tides. So we're already up to two feet, and that means that we're starting to see the water encroaching in the low-lying areas around the station here back there some of the parks and they're even going to get uh, out to some of the roads that are going to be on the perimeter of the St. John's. Now the reason this is important is because we only have a, a little less than a feet. We're just over two feet right now. We have a little less than a foot to go and at three feet we get to moderate level or major levels rather and at major now we're talking about areas of San Marco back through Baptist and even into uh, areas of Riverside and Avondale that are going to see some flooding. So let me show you what it looks like right now on the tower cam. Forgive the bumps here because we're still seeing some of those tropical storm wind gusts that are coming through, but estimates from where I'm standing right now and just watching as people were walking by standing and looking here, it looks like we roughly have about a foot to go. So this means that we're going to be flirting with the moderate levels. This still doesn't take us back to what we had with Irma. That would be 4.9, 5 feet and then even higher in some levels. But at this time, it's time to start paying attention to the uh, river itself. It's time to start paying attention to the tides that are going to be in your area. As soon as I'm done here, I'll have a push alert going out and we'll link a story over to a newsforjacks.com and I'll have a link one click boom and you're going to be going over to all of the local tides in our area and this will affect anywhere from around the downtown area and sweeping all the way back down as you continue toward the Buckman with even more of an influx coming through because we've got all the water coming in from the south here um, after all the heavy rain they saw in central Florida. So that'll be coming up through Lake George. We'll be watching areas and we have some crews that are already posted in areas that are prone to flood here in St. Johns County, but we'll also be watching uh, Putnam County in and around Crescent City where you saw some flooding and also up through Crescent Lake here and into the southern part of uh, Putnam County. Keep that in mind. You're going to see the flooding coming back. We mentioned it last night with that next round of high tide. And I will say that it does look like for some of these areas that it could be higher than even what we saw at the peak of Milton. Uh, the winds right now, and just a quick check where we had 39 when we started here. It's since backed off at 37. That's still pretty close to some of the hurricane gusts. We're still in the upper 20s and slowly starting to recede in the inland areas. And just to let you know, the uh, um, Milton is now a post tropical cyclone. Still packing some winds though. Look at that 75 miles an hour, which would keep it at hurricane strength as it continues to move away from the Florida coast. Our winds will slowly subside. Our focus right now, Tarek, is going to be on the uh, river and the potential for some flooding. Like I was saying here, our neighborhoods just over uh, to the south of us here on areas of the south bank are starting to flood. We'll get a camera over toward um, Friendship Fountain and we'll keep an eye on the river so we can keep everybody posted. All right, Richard Nunn, thank you.